this is Roblox Ninja Land. We have to fight against strong NPCs and travel across different lands to become the strongest shinobi. Which is my goal for today, to become the strongest shinobi. But as of right now, I'm weak as crap. But that's okay, because I'm going to be going from a noob to a pro. Meaning I'm starting off with literally nothing and working my way up to the point where I'm using crazy powers like these. And also getting cool loot like this. But enough talking, y'all enjoy the journey. Alright, let's see. Let's start off with a quest. Ah, Kakashi. You know what's funny? The odds of me wearing a Kakashi shirt and seeing Kakashi at the same time is actually crazy. Alright, so our first mission is to fight Evil Genning. Why do they have Evil Genning just chilling inside of the village? Like, what? Alright, well, let's handle this. Nah, these guys are actually pretty strong. What the? My bro's throwing them combos. Yeah, yeah, y'all should be scared. Yeah, hold this combo. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, let's go, already our first level up. So this man's gonna continuously make me fight these guys until I'm a level 10. Yeah, let me go handle this real quick. Now we can fight the getting leader. All right, let's see what he's about. Oh, this guy looks like a whole menace. All right. Nah, bro, this guy is built different. He is knocking me out. Okay, bro, chill, chill, chill. All right, bro, this man is comboing me. I gotta get out of here. Nope, is, can, he's still following me? Hey, bro, chill, chill. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wow, I just realized there's stats. Maybe I should have upgraded this before I fought that guy. Do I want to be a ninjutsu user or a taijutsu? I mean, I am a big fan of Rock Lee, but I don't think I want to rock with Tai. Genjutsu would be a pretty valid. Uh, we're going to go with ninjutsu. Ninjutsu is pretty good for mid range, so we're going to need that. But the thing is, I don't have any nin. I don't have any ninjutsu. I have no jutsus at all. So I think I should focus on my health right now. Uh, I should be ready this time. Bring it on. Oh good, he keeps the same health. <laughs> Oh man, bro leveled me up twice. That's how you know he was good. So currently I'm a level 20 and Kakashi's not giving me any more missions. So I'm assuming this means I can leave the village now. <laughs> See you sucker. I'm out of here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There's a question mark right there. 900 meters. That's pretty far. Yeah, this person right here is definitely Haku from Naruto. It'd be crazy if they gave the NPCs like abilities and stuff. All right, so I've been looking at the starter pack and I've been debating if I wanted to buy it. And it's only 400 Robux, so I'm gonna buy it and see how it is. Look at these items, they look really cool. Grant me power so I can whip that guy's so we got 10,000 money and a bunch of legendary items. So we're going to claim that. All right. So my next mission is I got to go fight Ghost. No, Ghost is Zabuza. Oh, I thought it was an actual ghost. All right. This should be easy. Oh, bro. Just thought. Oh, God, bro. Started throwing gang signs. Okay. Hold on, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, he actually has abilities. Hold on. What is this? Bro's not giving me a chance to attack. Bro, stop throwing gang signs. Chill, man. There we go. Finally, bro. It's difficult. Next is the Hokage. Wait, what? Am I reading that right? Let me, where's my reading glasses, bro? Like the Hokage? Why are we fighting the Hokage on the second stage? We'll, we'll find out who the Hokage is. Oh my God, bro. That's crazy. I must protect the village chief at all costs. I often see people disappearing near a shrine. Well, y'all about to lose a Hokage because I'm about to handle them with the ones. So yeah, you're, you're not doing your job too good, buddy. Oh, it's Naruto. Oh, we don't fight him? Oh, I thought we was about to fight the Hokage. Well, I guess not. Good. I, I get to survive a lot longer now. Naruto was definitely about to handle me. All right, so we got to find a gift. Oh, it's up here. What kind of quest is this? That was by far one of the easiest quests I've ever had. All right, so now we got to fight the Jonin. Who wants it first? And just like that, boom. Okay, they are handling me. This was a horrible idea. Nah, nah, come on. Give me my power. Give me my power. Let's go. Oh, I'm about to die. Hold on. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. I need more health. All right. All right, there we go. Now we're level 50. So show me where these elite joning are. I think I can handle them. Let's go. Oh, crap. He what was that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Hey, bro, just exploded. I'm not used to these abilities, man. On guard. Bro, show me who's stronger. I learned my lesson, man. It's taking me longer than I expected to beat this guy. Come on, just die! Yes! All that for a piece of common poor people wealth? I don't want this. Yeah, I'm going back over here to the other spawn point. Let me, uh, it's time for something different, you know? All right, so clearly I'm not strong enough to handle that guy by myself. So I need to get some more stronger loot. And as of right now, let me see what I'm rocking right now. I need uh, some new shoes. I need a new piece of bling and I need some necklaces. Oh, here we go. This is an easier way to open all of them. Oh, there we go. Let's see. 
Oh, we got a legendary. Wow, that was way faster than I expected. All right, so let's put this on. This gives me max chakra. So I've been using Monado's ability for the longest time, and I want to try out some new abilities. I did notice when you go to the store at the top, there's an ability shop. And I mean, some of the abilities actually don't cost that much. They're pretty good prices compared to, you know, other games. And I'm looking at this Thousand's Hands, and I'm pretty sure this is a mythic ability, just because there's rainbows around it. Same thing with the void space, so. Oh, isn't that uh guy's power too? Dragon Kick? Oh my god, yeah, we got to try these out. So let's click preview. We can actually test out the abilities? What? Hold on. Now, this is about to be crazy. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I was expecting more, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, that's not bad. Let's try this dragon kick. What? That's insane. All right, what else we got? Void space? Now, I can tell you this one's about to look crazy. All right, so void space. What? Not only is this move big and crazy, it also should be able to hit a bunch of enemies in the same area. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the void space. I'm gonna hold off on the rest of the abilities for right now, but uh, yeah, I'm getting this one. This, yeah, welcome to the family, bro. Come on. All right, so I'm right here in the middle and I'm gonna try to hit all three of these enemies with the void space. So let's find out. Oh, wow. I thought it was gonna definitely do something bigger than that, but it didn't hit nobody. So I guess we still gotta make sure the enemies are close before we can use our abilities. Am I tripping or did that do no damage? I feel like Monado's ability is a lot better than what I just saw there. Hold on, let's let's do that one more time. I must be tripping. Alright, so let's see his health. Oh, okay, there we go. That's actually not bad. I will say it took like a third of its health. Yeah, not a bad ability. I've been having to buy a bunch of abilities with Robux so far. When am I going to be able to get abilities for free? Well, I only got like five gems right now, and I'm trying to get some new abilities, but I don't know how to get gems in this game. The only way I've seen you can get gems is by spending Robux. So I might spend some Robux and go back to the other area just to see if I can get something. Maybe the abilities in the game is different from the abilities in the store. Instead of walking, I've learned the ability to walk on air. All you have to do is jump in the air and spam F. From there, you're literally walking on air. Yeah, you guys are not beating me, bro. Just call it quits, bruh. Why is he running from me? Don't run. Yeah, <laughs> hey, bro's dead dodging me. Come on. Oh, I can't hurt him. Maybe it's because he's my ally. I don't know. That ally thing is so weird. Well, let's continue leveling up. Got a long way to go. So the next boss we have to fight, his name is Snake. But I'm pretty sure that is Orochimaru. Oh, oh hold on, bro. I was just trying to look at you. Chill. Wait, whoa, bro. What is that, Snakes? Bro has a whole arsenal of abilities. Where'd he go? What the? I'm so confused. Come on, just take the L. Oh, yes, I feel the power. I just realized that you can actually buy the abilities with gems and money. So it's not both of them at the same time. It's either or. So I spent Robux for no reason. But I mean, on the bright side, you know, I got some really good abilities. But the next level I have to get to is level 100. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time fighting these ninjas until I get to a level 100. Let's see if there's a power difference now. Yeah, I can see some of my abilities is definitely hurting Snake a lot more now. But, you know, they still got mad health. This should be the last time I need to fight Snake before I can move on to the next area. The amount of abuse I've been giving this guy, I think he's tired of me. I think I just took this guy's kill. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I need him more. All right, there we go. So now we're at level 101. We can finally get out of here. I'm tired of grass. Onwards to the land of the desert. Oh, this is crazy, man. What? The scenery is so dry. Ain't nothing here. What is he doing here? Don't, don't you own a ramen shop, man? Why are you everywhere? You everywhere but your job. Ooh, 33k XP. Don't mind if I do, bro. What? I would have thought today I would end up fighting crabs. Now, I ain't gonna lie. These crabs are actually really strong. Jesus, just die. Since I needed to get stronger, I continued to fight the crabs, which eventually I was able to finish. Then I progressed to the snake quest where I fought the vipers to level up more. After I finished that, the final quest was to fight a sandworm, which I'm not gonna lie. Bro was doing crazy damage bad enough for me to have to stay away from him, heal up, and then fight him again. But eventually I was able to beat him. And after fighting him repeatedly since he gave the best XP, I was finally able to make it here. Right next to my boy, the Kazakage. There's been an evil force eyeing us closely. We are in dire need of your help. Me? You need my help, the Kazakage? <laughs> Don't mind if I do, man. Who we gotta fight? The clay monsters? Man, I got you, bro. That's that's light work. These are the clay monsters? Why are they so big? What the? Okay, they're not too strong, but they are pretty strong. I don't know how to explain that. This is basically set up to where I have to buy, like, the weaker loot. 
in order to make sure I survive. So since I can't afford the 170 right now, I'm gonna go straight to the 110 and just use that. Cause this is a way cheaper, honestly. And I could probably still get some good loot. So yeah, C5000 compared to 10,000 is a big difference. Come on, stop being cheap. Yes. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now I'm kind of mad I spent the rest of my money. All right, so how strong is that? 5,949 health because I got that legendary. Oh my gosh, now I got 10K HP. Let's go, bruh. I got more HP now, I'm different. So now I'm doing 569 damage per swing. Oh, my ninjutsu is doing a lot better. How you like that? Yeah. Never see the day I'll be beating up clay monsters. Yeah, some of my abilities are way stronger. But these guys got some heavy HP, man. Like, sheesh. They could take some hits. I'm pounding this man, and he's just non-stop just fighting back. All right, there we go. All right, so I actually never got to see what the level requirements are for the other quests. 170 and 190. So the 190 is an evil artist. If this is exactly like the storyline is on Naruto, I'm pretty sure the evil artist is Datara. Actually, let me go look. Only question is, where is Datara? Because we got clay monsters here. Oh, it is Datara. Hold on, let me see. Yo, it's Datara. Oh, that's, oh, hold on, bro. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be back for him later. I am not ready to fight him. <laughs> So we finally reached level 191, and of course I feel like I'm a semi-pro at this point. That and I'm at the final stage, I believe, of this whole game. Like for me to be a level 191 and holding it down against clay golems and stuff, yeah, I, I think I deserve a semi-pro title. I won't take the pro title until we're completely done. But before I do anything, I want to try to unlock some more abilities. So I'm going to spend my 60,000 and try to see if I can get anything else cooler. Let's find out. Oh, oh wait, hold on, that was a cool move. Uh, we'll find out what that is later. Oh, there we go. It's called the Lion Fist. Pretty sure that's Hanada's move with the lion hands. Yeah, that thing looks sick. Bro, they're giving me some trash loot, bro. Alright, so I'm gonna learn all these moves just so I can say I have all of them in my arsenal. So now we have every move learned. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. So much more moves is here now. So this is considered Taijutsu? Let me see what it looks like. That was lame. I need to see a better pop of that. Actually, that's not bad. Shooting a giant lion like that is actually pretty tough. What about this? Heavy punch. What? That's it? Alright. Sand drizzle. What am I, an earthbender? Oh no, that's sand shower from Gara. Okay. See, the thing about those moves, I feel like they don't hit enough. So I keep sticking to my moves because they're the best moves on here right now. Alright. It's time. Come on, evil artist. Bro, already started off trying to blow up the world. Come on, man. You don't know who you're fighting now, bro. You messing with the wrong one. Come on, bro. But I can't say this, this man can't take some hits. But bro got mad health. Oh, he's about to kill me. But I'm gonna kill him first. Wow, just beating him alone gave me four level ups. I'm pretty sure after I hit level 200, I should be able to move on to the next area. So we're actually not that far away. Finally conquered this area, it's time to move on to the next. So we just hit level 202, and we just got our new set of quests. Koichi, pretty sure that's Shikamaru. Why does everybody got the same face? Everybody just looks like they don't want to be there. Okay, so this isn't as bad. There's only two quests in this area. You gotta fight the rogue ninja, then we gotta fight an elite rogue ninja. Who's the elite rogue ninja? Let's see if we can find him. So I'm assuming these are the rogue ninjas, okay. Okay, these guys are handling me, oh my god. Bro, I'm barely hurting these guys, what? Nah, 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 I'm about to die. I haven't died yet in this game, which is surprising. I'm trying to keep that streak. This guy's got me crip walking and everything, man, nah. Looks like I'm gonna need some more HP or something. See, I remember when I thought I was actually done with the whole game after this? Well, there's actually more to the game, and I'm kind of surprised. They do a really good job at tricking you in this desert, man. After I fought the rogue boss and everything, you come over here, and there's more. Not only that, you're actually fighting Sasori, the puppet master. He's right there. That man's a menace. I was eventually able to beat him, but this guy is by far the strongest boss I've ever fought. The best way for me to beat him is dodging his attacks. As you can see, if I get hit by all five of those, yeah, my life is going straight to zero there we go i might be able to, oh no ah! i might be able to kill him this time oh wow 
That's the first time I was able to beat him without having to run away. Oh, okay. It looks like your boy's packing power now. As y'all can see, there's like this giant skull thing right here. Like, what's in here that it has its own cave? All right, we're going to find out. Oh, my God. I'm kind of nervous, man. All these bosses have been really strong so far, and I've been having a tough time beating them. So, I don't know who I'm about to fight right now, but we're going to find out. Whoa, hey, nah, 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 bro. Nah, nah I was expecting something else, not the one-tailed beast. Okay, bro, this is the first tail beast. What? Nah, that's actually insane. Oh, God. Nah, he, oh, oh, he's fast, too. And I have a time limit to beat him, too? All right, there we go. I just got to dodge his attacks. Oh, my gosh. All right, I took a third of his life. I might have to take the L. I, come on. I got to do as much damage before I die. I'm about to die. Wow, yep, yep, I died. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back to fight that guy. He's too strong. It's so crazy that there's no quest for him, though. Oh, what is this? Oh, whoa. Bro, this is a whole nother section? What? Oh, my God. All right, so, yeah, it looks like we have a long way to go before we actually finish this game. Nibi. Who's Nibi? Isn't that the two tails? Does she have two tail power? Let's find out. That is the two tails. Why they nerf her so bad? They didn't even give her the two tail power. I mean, I'm kind of glad, but uh -huh. yeah, she doesn't use any of the two tail powers. Well, I'm not ready to fight her, so I'll continue fighting these guys, I guess. Air bandits. Why did I do this? Are these guys strong? Let me see. I might be able to handle these guys at the same time. Nope, nope, nope. These guys are manhandling me. Get away! Okay, so what I'm going to do, and this might be a better method for me, is I'm going to go ahead and go right back to the bottom and fight bosses. Because if y'all noticed, the Sasori boss gave me 400k. So the best strategy right now to get as much money and XP as possible is to fight the bosses in the bottom level. Because I obviously can't handle fighting those guys up there. Not yet, at least. That, and there's no point in fighting the bad guys, you know? The bad guys, I mean, as much as they're all good, you definitely get a lot more XP faster fighting the bosses. Let alone if you can beat the boss really fast, then that's XP just stacking fast. So I'm going to sit here and stack up, and then, yeah, we're going to go back up there and show them guys what I'm made of. So before I was a level 306, now I'm a level 429. Yeah, I mean business. On top of that, I came even more prepared. I decided to get all the mythical abilities in this game. So I got the mythical dragon kick, the void space, and the thousand hands. He has to die this time. Time to test out my new abilities. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Did that dragon kick just do 16,000 damage? Hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, that I'm 100 levels higher than when you fought me before. You're not winning this, buddy. 600k health and I still got four minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, bro got 57 health. What should I kill you with? My void space, my dragon kick, or my thousand hands? I'm feeling very physical right now, so I'm going to go ahead and kick you in the face. Get out of here. You're dead. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is tough. Wait, what is this portal over here? What? You're telling me I fought in Jinjuriki for a pair of sandals? That's like fighting Mike Tyson for a pair of flip-flops. It's not worth it. Why does guy look like that, bro? Like, you don't want to be here or something? I, mean, I definitely don't want to be here. I'm the one that's going to die. All right, so we got to fight Golden Junior Troops. How good is this quest? 700k XP? I ain't fight some troops in a while, so let's see how strong these guys are. I'm going to try to use my dodge technique on them. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see what I can do here. Oh, it works. Even with a group of people, I can dodge these guys. Who's the boss for this area? I'm assuming this is the boss. Oh, that's Kasame. What is this? I'm definitely going to regret this. The last portal I went through, I fought the first tails. So I'm kind of scared to see what kind of tail beast is inside this portal or what I'm about to face. I'll take on anything that comes my way. Bring it on. Oh, my God. What the? Five million HP? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I can beat this guy. In five minutes? I could barely hurt this guy. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is not happening today. I'm leaving, bro. He's just I know I'm not going to beat him. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going to need more power. It's official. I've been training days for this moment. I'm currently at level 608, and I think I'm ready to fight the shark and the Jinjuriki. Not only that, I prepared myself by stacking up some legendary loot. I got a legendary headband, sword, and shoes. Chest plate is epic, but that's good enough. I definitely think I can handle this man now for sure. Oh, he already starting off with the jutsu. Okay. It's kind of like Sasori's move where he shoots the puppets out his hands. Except this guy shoots water. 
But I definitely do not want to get hit by his water. It's very strong. There we go. This should be it. Final move. No, he's still alive? What? You know what? I'm going to finish this with a good attack. This should be it right here. Take this. No? What? Come on, bro. Just die. You're persistent. Jeez Louise, man. All right, finally. Sheesh. All right, so we officially beaten every single boss except the Jinjuriki. And honestly, I am not confident that I'm going to beat him yet just because that man has 5 million health. Before I do that, let me go ahead and buy some more gear. Um, I'm aiming for a whole legendary set. If I can get that legendary chest plate eventually, that would be nice. But I think I should be fine. I should be able to take on this Jinjuriki. Time for part two. <laughs> Bringing out the inner chi. I am ready. Okay. Uh, and it's not a lot of damage, but it's decent. I think what's gonna get me is the fact that bro, what? Bro just took 13,000 HP from me. Jeez, man. Jesus! Oh my God, man. See, this is why nobody should just go casually fighting a Jinjuriki. They're dangerous. They're very dangerous. That is my strongest move. That is what's gonna do a lot of damage to this guy. If I had one more teammate with me, I could definitely beat this guy together. I got a minute and 30 seconds left, and I haven't even taken half his life yet. At this point, I accepted that I'm not gonna beat him. But I just want to see how much health he will have left to kind of give me an idea on how much stronger I need to get to beat him. At least I got an idea. So yeah, I would say I need to get a lot more stronger before I can even handle this man. Once again, <laughs> you. All right, so we may have a little problem. Actually, it's a very big problem. If y'all remember earlier, I died at level 610 when I fought the Jinjuriki. Now I'm at level 650 and this is the max you can go. So I can't get any stronger when it comes to my stats. Which is a problem because now I need to figure out how I can be strong enough to fight that Jinjuriki so I can beat him and be called a pro. So what I did was this. There's actual cats hidden around the stages. If you find them, you can reset all your stats. So what I did is I actually targeted all my stats to where I did damage in my Taijutsu, my Ninjutsu, and my Genjutsu. I didn't really care too much for health just because, I mean, if I die, I come back to life. So I focused on all the damage parts. So this might be enough to beat the boss, but for safe assurance, what I'm going to do is boost up my abilities, which is going to cost me 900 Robux. So what I'm going to do is buy this. And I really hope this works because I really want to beat this octopus. All right, so now that we got that, I'm hoping this is enough to beat the boss. But before we do that, let me go ahead and waste the rest of this money. I'm hoping I can get a legendary body armor, but I doubt it. Of course, of course, another purple. Wait, there's a quest all the way over there. Are you telling me once I hit 650, there's another quest? What else can I do in this game? Like, they keep having me do more and more. I'm max level. They better give me, like, the Hokage title. I swear to God. I told you I was going to take that title. All right, let's beat this boss real quick. See what I did there? I said we're going to beat him. Get it? Because I'm confident I could beat him this time. But, you know, let's just see what happens. Yeah, I totally have no confidence in beating this guy. Like, man, I have two minutes and 20 seconds left. And bro still hasn't even hit a half a life. I cannot beat this guy. I think I can. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. He's going to die to my hands. Two minutes and three million health. Oh, boy. My kicks are doing 40,000 damage and it's tickling him. Oh, God. What did he hit me with? If any of you guys was able to beat that steroid octopus, let me know in the comments below because there's just no way. But since I couldn't beat him, I guess we should go to this quest and find out what the heck it is. I think all that training will lead me right back to Kakashi. What do you want? Wait, what? The quest sent me all the way over here to talk to him. Like, it's right there. You want me to fight this guy again? Kakashi. This guy. He's gone. Why would they give me the same quest after reaching max power god tier? Well, overall, I would say I'm pro level at this point. One, because I have reached the max level in this whole game. Two, I got some really good loot. Even one mythic item right here called the Sword of Kusanagi. And I have to say, the rainbow look on it looks crazy. In three, I was able to beat the whole game. Besides the octopus guy, we're going to leave him out of this. You know, if y'all ever want to join up and help me jump that guy later on, I'm definitely down for it. He's going to have to catch my hands later. But I did enjoy all the jutsus in this game. I definitely had a good time, and it was definitely a grind. So make sure y'all like it up because, man, I put in some hours and days into this. But Omega out.